Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a patient born in 1955 who has medial-sided knee pain for several weeks, and we see here on this coronal fat sat PD sequence, the femur up top, we see the tibia down below, and the striking finding is over here, the medial tibia. We see this transverse band of low signal that parallels the articular surface. There's a cortex, and here it is just beneath that, and really prominent surrounding marrow edema. And also on this view, we see the meniscus body is pseudo-extruded. Instead of being tucked more tightly in, it's drifting outwards. We see some periastitis along the medial margin, uplifting the medial collateral ligament here. And there this is. So a, this is a horizontal stress fracture. And with the medial meniscus pseudo-extruded like this, there's a very common finding with radial tear. So I always look back at the meniscus root or posterior horn. And on this view, we can see the lateral meniscus, nice back here. And the medial meniscus comes across, but there's a fluid-filled gap right here. So this is a fluid-filled gap. Let's move it over right here um, at the medial meniscus. It involves the medial meniscus root and adjacent posterior horn. So a radial tear that goes to the outer, middle, and inner thirds. And it's completely separated, and it drifts outwards, and we call this pseudo-extrusion. I'll call it sometimes outward migration of the meniscus body. But this is very common when this happens. There's abnormal mechanics of stress. The meniscus is no longer doing its job, and most often I'll see a stress fracture of the femur. As earlier today, I had this exact same thing, but uh, femur. And more uh, rarely, less commonly here, we see the stress fracture of the tibia, as in this case. So this is a horizontal fracture, and there's impending articular surface collapse. This is critical to get these patients non-weight bearing so it doesn't go the rest of the way and have volume loss. And that's it. So very common thing, meniscus root tear producing loss of hoop stress, pseudo-extrusion of the meniscus, and non-function of the meniscus, and associated stress fractures, typically on the femoral side, but sometimes here on the tibial side. And that's it. Thank you very much.